Hi, welcome to Dell Dynamics. We're back at the base of Real Trainer TV, and today I'm talking with Donna. Congratulations! I know that she's won a competition, um, and you're going to tell us what the competition was and your journey of how you went from not competing to competing and winning your category. Tell us the story. I've just won the over 40s uh, Miami Pro Fitness Model World Champion Championship in St Albans. Congratulations. And not only are you over 40, you're actually I'm way over 40. I'm 50. You're 50? Yeah, I'm 50. Well done. So I was the oldest competitor in the show. And you won. And I won. <laughs> okay, so um, how did you get into training and did you know that you wanted to compete from the start? And what did you look like back then to what you look like now? Um, if we, well, it took, it took me 13 months uh, for the prep and uh, when I first started out last year, um, I was slim, right. very cardio fit. And actually, strangely enough, for the first time in 18 years, I'd taken eight months out of lifting weights, and I was doing uh, Tracy Anderson's program, yep. Donna's trainer, yep. and I'd lost my mojo, and I did that at home, and lots of cardio uh, in my little studio downstairs, and I actually wasn't in a gym. But that was the first time in eight in uh, 18 years, so I'd lost a lot of my muscle. Because so you were I'd, just doing yeah, and cardio. I was, I was, yeah, I was tiny. Okay, so what happened from that point? And then um, I sent Ian Dow an email. I had never met Ian, but I sent him an email and said, I want to compete, and please will you prep me? Um, I called him up, followed up, and spoke to him. And then I met him, and that's it. He was away. We were away. <laughs> I trained and dieted and went and just did it. So when you first came to in Dow at Dow Dynamics, um, what what was the process that you went through? Um, did he talk to you about what you were doing previously? Did he explain what you were going to do? Or did you just kind of put all your trust in him and he just kind of guided you and you just followed what he said? Well... Yeah, I did just an initial workout with him just so he could see where I was at. Right. And then um, he basically said, you need to train with me four times a week. Went well, fine. And uh, that was it. And your training consisted of weights, I'm guessing? Weights. So and we know, as personal trainers, that the only way to sculpt your body is by using weights. But a lot of misconceptions are that it's cardio, 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 and you're going to look amazing, which you have just proved is out of the window and that's something that we want to get across and also sort of 30 above women struggle to lose weight or to um, hit a certain goal do you find being um, in that age range do you, do you think that it was more difficult for your for your journey than if you was a lot younger if you'd have started then I don't think about age when I'm in the gym no I'm ageless I'm ageless in the gym. I really don't think about it. I just, I just hit the weights. The only thing that I might think about is sometimes I have niggles. There's a little impingement in my hip. I had yeah. a few problems. There were times when I couldn't squat. I literally couldn't squat at all. Right. Um, I don't think about age. I just think I'm a bit injured right now. But I don't, I don't see myself as no any different than no, anybody else. I didn't come into it. Yeah. I'm just down there doing what I've got to do. <laughs> hard work and, and that's the thing that most people um, are afraid of doing is the hard work um, but that's the only way you're going to hit your goals um, and that's what you've done 13 months is not a short amount of time you can't decide if you want to compete and do it in a couple of months it is a long term thing um, and you've done it and this was your first time my first show your first show but also you've enjoyed it so much but you're doing another show, aren't you? Yeah. So if you tell us about that show. Oh, the WBFS have just announced on Tuesday that they are coming to London and they're doing a show. It'll be an over, I'm, I'm assuming they have this category, they do all the other shows. It's an over 35 uh, fitness model category. And I've had my eye on that federation for 
quite a while and just thinking, it's such a shame. <laughs> I'm too old. Why don't they do an over 45 category <laughs> there? Well, you're going to compete and you are gonna going really to really try your hardest to play. Well, they're coming to London. And How can it, I not? It's fate. So it's something you've always wanted to do. You've done your first show. They're coming yeah. to London and you're going to compete in that and hopefully, um, you know, do really well out of that. So what? where do you go from here? Because obviously you're still dieting. Um, you haven't Not eaten anything yummy. So where now that you know that that show is actually in the beginning of November, I believe? The 9th. 9th of November. So what do you do now like with your training and your food? What happens? Um, okay, so for the next couple of weeks, I'll just be doing literally full body, no splits. Um, and then after two weeks, then I can really think about with back to split, um, back to splits again. Um, this time around, I probably will only be hitting legs with Ian, uh, just legs. You know, it gets expensive. Yeah, <laughs> I think we all know if, you, if anybody who's competed or an athlete in some kind of sport, it is expensive. There's things that you, you need, to, you definitely need a trainer, um, regardless of what sport you're in. You need a trainer, you need somebody's guidance, you can't do it on your own and that costs money. You need um, supplements, you need food, and, and I think the, the main outlay for, for our kind of sports is food. It's good food, it's meat, it's fish, it's rice, it's green stuff, um, <laughs> which I'm sure you're very familiar with now. I ate, um, I actually ate very clean, pretty clean. Um, uh, so for the first six months, and these are not things that Ian set me, these are not parameters. Mm. Only you know um, what you can cope with. Yeah. Yeah, I see him for only a short time out of the whole week. So mm. it's up to me to know. And the way I dealt with it is six, for the first six months, um, one meal a week, I just ate what I wanted. And it was usually about half a packet of Fox's biscuits, and then I'd feel a bit sick. <laughs> and then I'd just go, right, I'm done. That's it. Yeah. Till the next week. That worked for me. Yeah. But um, coming uh, coming into the show, uh, eight weeks out, absolutely nothing. 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 So no. you've spoken about the the fitness side and how you're working out, and now the run up. So are you going to binge on stuff, or are you eating clean still, or how? Well, I'm still eating clean because you're about to film me. <laughs> so we're about looking good, obviously. Um, I will take it slowly. The problem is sugar, you know, it, it just, it doesn't actually make me feel very good. I, I don't intend, I'm not the kind of person that will just binge and put on 20 pounds after a show. It's not really, that's not my style. Yeah. Yeah, of course I'll have a few treats because you, mentally you need to let go. Mm. But then it will be back to to build the kind of muscle that I need to build, especially after 40, I, that food has to be, that has to be on point. Yeah, yeah. And I need lots of protein, and I can't afford to waste calories at several meals a week yeah. on stuff that doesn't uh, build my body. Yeah, so that, that's your main goal now. So um, hopefully we'll see you in November. Um, up on stage, hopefully clapping, cheering, crying, because you've played quite highly. Um, so what's your, your best part of your body that you particularly like? I really like my arms. Okay. My arms grow easier than my lower body. They okay. could be freaky. So can you show us, um, do a pose for us? So you can see all your biceps, you can see all the shape of your shoulder and your triceps underneath. And what about your abs? Did you have abs before? Always the, uh, well not the six pack. But my, my abs are very good. And can we have a look at those? You can indeed. So you can see how little body fat she's got there. It's um, just skin over muscle, really, which is one of the reasons why you won. My abs were a very strong point. The other thing that I'm actually, the thing I'm most super proud of, though, because I have to work that much harder to get, yeah. are my legs. Right. Um, my legs just don't grow at the same rate. I found that a very strange concept. Right. That it's attached, they're attached to my body, but the upper body, I'll so be honest, of yeah. course I train, but we really haven't dug that deep. 
I yeah. can be asked a bodybuilder up top. Yeah. You know, two sets of bicep curls and everything's just popping out. Yeah. Um, my legs didn't have the structure when I came. You know, they, they were quite straight. Yeah. And to build that sweep, yes, I'd, I'd like my hamstrings to be to be. There's more sweep in the ham in the hamstring, so yeah. I've got more a lot more work to do on that. So you'll be concentrating on those. With, with I, the, uh, I had I had one of the best legs in the show, not my category in the show. Wow. And that I, I'm so I'm really proud because I know how how hard it is for me to to get them. Yeah. So you've worked really hard, and and you know, and that's what it's all about when you compete. Um, just putting the effort in. So I know that we're also going to um, be filming you in a second, actually training. So we're going to show you guys out there um, what real trainers do and real people to get those real results. So we'll be back with you shortly.